Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, brother. Brother man. Let me ask you a question. Hey, you got time to deal with your brother? No, oh, was you out here last week? Did you get some understanding? What's your nationality? Let's see what's... Come here, brother. Come talk to him. Come around to the front. Come around to the front, King. What understanding did you get last week? I would not hear, but I read about you. You read? What'd you, what'd you hear about us? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28. Hey, come to the front, King. Come to the front. Huh? Yeah, come to the front. I'll answer your questions. Right. Serious, serious issue. All right, so you, put me on too? Week, you can just stand off to the side over here behind the camera. Hey, so what, what we're out here teaching, brother, is that the people on that sign, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, our true identity, we are the Israelites, God's chosen people. Give me uh, 2 Samuel 7 and 23. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Over here, brother. This, hey, hey, King. This brother, these brothers are. Right right. Me. Right? What Bible are This is a uh, King James Bible. Right? Before you answer your question, hold on. Before you answer your question, I'm dealing with this, brother. I'm dealing with this, brother, and then I'll get to you if you just show some patience, all right? Absolutely. Read what you got. 2 Samuel 7 and 23. So what we got to understand, even though we're the most oppressed people on the face of this earth and we don't have any uh, uh, infrastructure, we're not established as a nation, we are the greatest people that God has created. And we must understand that. It's in the Bible, but it's been hidden from us for centuries. And they pay trillions of dollars to keep this information from us. 2 Samuel 7, 23. Yeah, read that. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 7, and verse 23. What one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel? Read that again. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people? This is another, this is a, a Queen Sheba of another nation. She noticed how, how King Solomon was running his nation. And she saw the glory of our people at that time. And she said, what one nation in the earth is like thy people, Israel? There's no other nation on this planet that's stronger than us, that's smarter than us, yeah. that's, that looks better than us. Right. We bring salt and flavor to this earth. Right. There's no other nation better than us. Right. But yet we at the bottom of society. Bring it out. Eating crumbs from the master's table. Right? Read. Whom God went to redeem for a people to himself. To what? Whom God went to redeem for a people to himself. We are to God, to himself. God has not chosen any other nation on this earth but us, but our people. Read. And to make him a name and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land. He has done great and terrible things. The terrible things God has done to us. Pick up that uh, I got this on. The great and terrible things. Right here. These are the terrible things God did to us. These are the slavery, being oppressed, persecuted, were the terrible things God did to us. And God only did it to us because we sinned against him. Because we went against his laws and commandments. Give me uh first Ezra or second Ezra's one and five. Where is that church located? We uh we over here off of uh 35th and Thomas, it's on a flyer. Hey uh Officer Solomon, can we get his brother a flyer? So that's the, that's the terrible things God has done to us for our sins. The great things.
things, the great things God is going to do for us is wake us back up in these last days, give us back our nationality, give us back our heritage, our culture, our understanding of who we are, and give us the kingdom of heaven. Right. Read the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 1 and verse 5. Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds. That's why we out here, brother, because our people, we are a wicked, perverse people. We'll sell drugs to each other, we'll kill each other, we'll sleep from woman to woman, sister to sister, get them pregnant, make them take care of the babies on their own. Bring it up! We won't, we won't even take care of ourselves and get a job. We want to live with mama, we want to live with daddy, we just want to be in the house playing games. We want to be high off our minds. We are a sinful people. That's why we fill up the prison houses. Right. That's why we have the highest crime rate. Right. That's why we have the uh, biggest murder rate amongst each other. Right. right? We the ones that kill each other. We. And their children, their wickedness. And we got to show our children their wickedness. The children are wicked in these last days. Right. You got 13-year-old girls getting pregnant, twerking, Teen-year-old boys killing each other. Even the children follow the same wickedness. This is why we got to get our, our people in order with God's laws. But we are out here to show you your evil ways. Read. Which they have done against me. Uh -huh. That they may tell their children's children. Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them. For they have forgotten me. So what we have done? They have forgotten me. We have forgotten who our God is. We've forgotten that the God that created everything on this earth and created all the people is our God. That's right. And none else. And guess and guess what he looks like? He a black man with woolly hair. That's right. That's what our God looks like. We should, we should be happy and feel special about that, that our God looks like us. And it ain't this uh, effeminate, soft uh, white man right there. The same people that's killing us. We got to understand, we've forgotten who our God is. Therefore, we have forgotten who we are because we've forgotten our God of Israel. to strange gods. We'll celebrate Halloween. What, is Halloween coming up? You celebrate Halloween? Our people celebrate Halloween? That's, it's, oh, oh, you can see that it, it's wicked. Witches, warlocks, vampires, demons. Then you got all these women want to use that as an excuse to dress like whores. Bring it up! We, we celebrate strange gods. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Valentine's Day. It is. Where does Christmas come from, brother? You Jeremiah he, he used one holiday out of all the other rest of the holidays. Every single holiday of this world. Brother, don't be deceived, King. Every single holiday of this world, we are celebrating a strange God. Christmas is a celebrated uh, holiday of a deity. That ain't him. It's Nimrod. They celebrate an ancient Babylonian god, Nimrod. Bring it and out. what they said was, when he died, his spirit went into a tree. Where do we get uh, celebrating Christmas in a tree from? That Babylonian custom, when they was worshiping Nimrod as a tree. That's right. right. And then we practice those same customs today. The, the, the devil ain't going to tell you Christmas is about me and worship me. No. He comes a lot craftier than that. He'll make you feel good about it like you're not celebrating a, 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 a demonic God, but you are. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Read it out. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh against you, O house of Israel. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, uh, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> Swedish Day. Those are days of the heathen. That's right. Those are holidays of other nations. Those don't belong to us. Yeah. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. The signs of heaven goes into your zodiac, your astrology, palm reading. They have that. God said don't do that. That's what the heathens do. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh-huh. 
customs of the people are vain. This is one of the customs that was written in the time of Jeremiah in Babylonia that we still keep today. The customs of the people are vain. Let's read it. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. They do what? They cutteth a tree out of the forest. They cut a tree out of the forest. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen uh -huh. with the axe. Uh -huh. They deck it with silver and gold. What do they uh, decorate this tree with? Silver and gold. They decorate this tree with silver and gold. The same custom that our people were partaking in in Babylonia. Jeremiah told, hey, don't be doing that. That's for the heathens. God said, don't do that. This is what they do. They're cutting a tree and they're putting it, uh, decking it with silver and gold. What does that sound like? Christmas. That is an ancient God that people are celebrating, not knowing it. Go back to where we was at. So what we have to understand, brother, we got to come back to our true identity and come back to the laws and commandments of God. We got to come back to our high holy days. Give me uh, Sirach 17 and 11. We got to come back to the, to the holidays we celebrated and get out of the ways of the other nations. This is what put us in slavery in the first place, was us breaking God's commandments and serving other gods. And that's what we still do today. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. God gave us the law of life for inheritance. We got to come back to our heritage, to our customs, to our traditions. Because we forgot our ways and we forgot God. We forgot who we were. But in these last days, we're coming back to our true identity. Right? So what what, what must we do? What must we do to get, get back? Get uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What's your name, King? Kendall. Kendall? Kendall? Elkanah. Elkanah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What must we do, bro? What you can do. Great. What you can do? I'm, I'm going to show you. Because just, just a, just a prayer is heavy. It is important. Oh, give me 1 Kings 8. I like that better. 1 Kings 8 and 47. I'm going to show you what we can do, King, all right? But it's on you to do it, right? We are here set up to show y'all your ways of who we are. 8 and 47. And what we, what we must do in these last days. Death and destruction is coming to this earth. Nuclear fire, those bombs are going to drop here in America. That's right. you got grace now. That's what grace is. It's a time period to get your life right. Right. To change your ways. Repent and come back as the Israelites. God has given us time to do that. Read. The book of 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 47. Yeah. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. If they shall do what? Bethink themselves. If my people shall bethink themselves means to remember who they are. Mama's cooking, right? But we don't know that we've been wicked and 
doing perversely against God. So when you come back to this understanding, then you realize, damn, that is evil. That is wicked. Right, so our people still celebrate it though, right? They celebrating a, 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 a holiday of murder. Right. They're right. celebrating murder. Bring it up. That is a, a demonic spirit right there. They did that to us. They did that to us. That's and we right. sit there and celebrate murder. We were the right. ones here. Our people was here first. So we have to understand we have done wickedly and perversely and pray to God for forgiveness for that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.